starting with the great name of almighty allah who is the most gracious and most beneficent so now the sediment load it is the sediment that is lifted off the bed of the channel and carried up into the body of the flow by the vertical component of the turbulence velocity is due to the eddies now here the term eddies means the currents or the waves or the ripples generated into the water that causes the uh, sediments of the partic uh, particles to uh, move upward and then the <clears throat> and uh, you know with a turbulence velocity and means that's the velocity in which the flow is in the zigzag pattern and because of which the particles tries to move from uh, down to up and up to down so the concentration of sediment decreases with distance up from the bed now the gravity pulls down and eddies tries to push it up now the steady state distribution of the concentration of suspended load is determined this formula which is the c upon ca where c is the basically unknown concentration and ca is the known concentration at the height of the a a is the reference height at which we know the concentration and c is the unknown concentration where we want to uh, find the unknown concentration at the depth of the y means we will be given the y at what depth we have to find concentration and known concentration will be given so this is how we will find the uh, unknown concentration then we have this constant which is equals to w upon k under root tau not upon uh, rho w now this w is basically the fall velocity and this k is the von kármán's constant tau not is the shear stress and this is the uh, mass density of the water that i will discuss later on and this uh, under root of under root ratio of the tau not to the uh, mass density of the water is basically the shear velocity which is the uh, u uh, with uh, represented with this u means the uh, z can all this is z is just the constant which is the ratio of these terms and then u is the ratio of this under root of tau not by uh, rho w <clears throat> now these terms i have already uh, discussed some of the c is the sediment concentration at distance y up from the bed ca is the known concentration at some reference uh, reference level at a height a above the uh, bed then d is the depth of the water in the channel W is the settling or the fall velocity of the sediment grains in the channel. K is the von Kármán's von Kármán's universal con constant that is mostly taken as 0.4. Tau naught is the bed shear stress that we are, that I have also discussed, and that is the also it can be uh, written under root uh, uh, gamma W R dash S. now it's uh, this i will discuss how this is uh, you know uh, changing from one term to other and other this will i uh, discuss in the problem and second there is a given a relationship between the r dash and r wherever you are finding you know that r dash is there and there is a r that's basically the rippled and unrippled now if i am talking that the uh, mean depth mean hydraulic depth of the channel is taken from the um uh, let me tell you wait yes if we if i am saying that the uh, hydraulic mean depth when bed was unrippled and hydraulic mean depth when bed was uh, rippled so what is unrippled and rippled here basically when uh, if i could show you one picture above now here you can see that there are sediments at the bottom of the bed of the channels when these uh, means lot of sedimentation has occurred lot of siltation uh, had taken place then what happens a uh, zigzag pattern is formed at the bottom of the channel those uh, zigzag patterns you say or undulations or ups and down or you know crust and trough type situation occurs in which the uh, siltation is is, uh, is there 
then in that we say that the radius, uh, uh, sorry, the mean hydraulic depth we take is um, will be different and the original depth will be different. So that's what it is, R and R dish. <clears throat> Similarly, N dish and N. Uh, then D, average grain size of the suspended load means dia. Ks is the average grain size of the bait load. Then there is the U shear velocity. That's the ratio of the tau naught to the uh, that's uh, don't confuse with the gamma W and the rho. Gamma W is the uh, the unit weight of the water, but rho W is the mass density of the water density or simple density of the water. <clears throat> 